satellite saying, Victor? It's the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense. Oh, Victor. Still do a lot of traveling these days. <laughs> Let's keep going. We're gonna rent the cheapest 4x4. Four four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me... Go, 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 go! Center. Yeah, this fast. I think I'm getting the hat. <laughs> it's fine. Christopher Condon sigil really isn't our final stop on our tour. <clears throat> that ought to do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> See, Sully? Winch. Totally work. Village in peace. No, no, they wanted to live. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. You got it pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> How much are you looking? Uh, a little too high to jump up there, unless you got a trampoline. <laughs> Left it in my backyard. Oh, darn. Wait, do you, do you have a trampoline? <laughs> I wish. And there's a path back there. Hang on. Oh, look at you. One crate coming up. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> well, we're definitely getting closer to the cathedral. Or what's left of it. <laughs> Gotta say, this is far more sophisticated than I was expecting. <laughs> Me too. Must have taken years to build. Spared no expense to hide 400 million bucks. Goes nothing. Good thing you're not heavier than the crate. Okay. 
can hook our ropes onto this. That'll work. Needs bridges. Oh no, I I wouldn't mind bridges per se. Well, can't go through there. So how do we get through? Over here. If this place wasn't completely falling apart. We'd probably be trapped again. Nathan, look around you. Holy crap. This must have been another test, but it all just crumbled into the ocean. Well, I guess the test now is... How the hell do we get to the other side? That really safe looking wooden seesaw thing might do the trick. <clears throat> Worth a shot. <clears throat> goes nothing. Too low. Come on back to this side. I'll weigh it down. me right uh, just let me look around cool cool i'll just hang out here check out all that machinery you know really makes you appreciate everything that goes into making one of these death traps <laughs> don't be glib who's being glib this is a marvel of human engineering any luck yeah give me a sec okay i found something to weigh down the seesaw excellent Heavier than I am. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Hey, nice air time. Oh, crap. I got you. There, thanks. There's another test down. At this point, I'd rather take another death trap. At this point, I hope we're at the end of this thing. Okay, getting a bit dramatic with the statues here. Seriously, why decorate a treasure burial site? Or build elaborate tests? Uh, 
I'll never get used to this. It's another cross. At least this one has some jewels on it, right? Whoa, whoa, don't touch it. What? Why? Look at it. It's the only valuable thing we've seen in this cave. Right. This is another test. Agreed. Yeah. Or lack thereof. Okay. So... It's, it's gotta be the coins. Yeah. Are we sure about this? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll have to do. I just... Just one now. Great. I got it. Please don't be a trap. <laughs> you recognize the shape? It's Madagascar. Look. Star right here. It's King's Bay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's screwing with us. What are you talking about? Avery. He's screwing with us. This was supposed to be it. So where's the goddamn treasure, huh? I mean, King's Bay, great. Well, what's next? North Pole? Outer space? Nathan. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. He, he was recruiting. Who was recruiting? Avery was recruiting. Recruiting for what? Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. You gentlemen are very, very noisy. Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have you from last time. Uh, throw me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, hey, we're here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the holes. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot them yet. <laughs> Not want to hurry, then. King's Bay. Yeah, but, uh, where in King's Bay? You'll need that cross over there to figure it out, but there's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. Well, I'll leave it to Rafe. You're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to cross the... You know what? Never mind. Don't touch it!
What's the plan? I'm working on it. didn't set it on fire. <laughs>
shit. Sam, sniper! Find cover! Set her down. One way or another, we'll get to you. The weather is lovely this time of year. I can't see shit. Just keep heading down until we hit the water.
That was a close one, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, mate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. I suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect themselves. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas too was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the guns way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? The people who survived the caves, the recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. <sighs> There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. Hey. Hey, Nate. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's... Been all that flooding, maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you gonna start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just, uh, Go ahead and buy a ticket, then. Oh, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. Here. Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. No! 
I'm sorry. Experiencing a little turbulence. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. Still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. <laughs> I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options you can get rid of now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on. It. Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Hmm. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4x4. Four four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Gotta get up to that bridge. Try going up that hill. We can get to the bridge that way. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> hey Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. <laughs> We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. I'm getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Getting the hang of this. There we go. 
Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. <laughs> oh, hey! Hang on tight. And you're thinking Avery, Two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities are closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. It definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to, what, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Well, whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? Oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. to do it. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. 
Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. You know, still taking a long time. Club out here, Nathan. Oh, what you look at that? Shit, stop, stop. 